guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. It has been a while, hasn't it? Um, I don't know if my very humble number of subscribers even noticed, um, but hopefully you did, but I am back. And um, the last video I posted uh, was Moro, the uh, Princess Mononoke wolf head cake. Um, if you didn't see that one, please do check it out. Um, I was a little insecure about it, but I kind of really enjoyed looking at it, like looking at the video I made a bunch of times. I just fell in love with it even though I was down on myself the entire time because it was really rushed. The reason being is because I had, um, during that video, like during the making of the video, a week and a half to pack up all my stuff and move to a new place. And here I am. I am now in my new house. Um, we didn't buy a house. I mean, we're based in LA. That's like impossible to do unless you're like a trillionaire. But um, we are in my new house and I'm so happy. Uh, but yes, I am back and I'm ready to show my next cake. I already finished it in like the past two or three days or equivalent of. Um, and I'm excited to show you. If you click this video, you already know what it is, but it is Yubaba from Spirited Away. She has um, a very particular she is she's just pacing anyway sorry if you'll hear that in the background but um i picked you baba because um she has such a striking face um pretty much a classic hag profile uh very exaggerated features and so that's just perfect for cake sculpting Probably not the most pleasing to look at, but for me, it's just really satisfying. Okay, but let's go ahead and get started. Here I am sketching out Yubaba's face. I decided to do kind of like from the shoulders and up. I am back at my computer desk. Um, this is actually me in my new place, although it looks exactly the same as in my previous videos, but I am moved into my new office um, in my new home and it feels really nice because I can see the tree right outside the window um, while I sketch this. It's just a very zen moment, um, especially because during this time I was really stressed and tired from moving, but I was really proud of myself um, to be able to bang out a sketch in the middle of all this madness, and I was really nervous about doing art again. For some reason, I'm always, you know, it's an awkward start, but I think she came out really great. It was a pretty therapeutic sketch, if I'm honest. And here I am in my new kitchen. Um, first step is to make all of the materials. I'll be going through it a little bit more in detail um, in compared to my past few videos, just because it's been a while. And it'd be nice to show you guys kind of the step-by-step -step process of how um, the whole thing comes together. And so the first thing I need to do is to make modeling chocolate in all the different colors that I need. I usually need a lot of white um, in every project that I do. I feel like it's a good base color to have and it's always used to mix with other colors. So I always make sure to make a ton of it. And this is a mixture of uh, candy melt, like melting chocolates, not actual chocolate, uh, but candy melts that you can usually buy at Michael's. And I mix that with corn syrup and melt it all up in the microwave. And it comes out in this clay-like uh, consistency that makes it perfect for sculpting with. I also made a lot of blue for her dress. She has two shades of blue, so this was a good color to start out with and I would mix you know, other shades into it so that I'd have two different colors in the end. I also had some leftover scraps from previous projects. Um, this pink, this light pink that I'm pulling out will be used to make her skin. Um, so since it's too pink right now, what I do is I mix it in with some white and then you'll see me also mix in um, some of like a golden color and that'll come out with more of a actual skin tone or at least like an anime skin tone that you would expect to see. Mm -hmm. 
Don't worry, I did clean my countertops. I always try to be as clean as possible when creating modeling chocolate um, because I do have two cats. Here I am making her hair. Um, she does have gray hair and she actually does have like a bit of yellow tone so I made sure to use uh, some yellow when making that gray and then this is me working on part of her dress um, that has a more it also has a yellow tone it's kind of like an earthier blue it's lighter it's warmer compared to the original blue that I started out with so you can kind of see the difference here now comes making the actual cake I just use cake box um, it's easier it tastes great and here's my little pup She's my little senior dog, always curious and always way too needy. So I have her in a little stroller, always by my side. But yeah, I make the cake according to the instructions. I always make sure to sift uh, the flour mixture uh, that comes in the box just to make sure that there's no lumps, especially when I'll be adding food dye, um, and make sure that there's no like white spots in the batter. Adding my oil and adding my eggs, and I found these beautiful blue eggs. They're by Vital Farms. I usually try to buy Vital Farms. I think they're really good at taking care of their chickens. Um, they're like free range, pasture raised, like they don't keep them in crowded, nasty conditions so they are a bit pricier um, but I just feel a lot better buying these eggs than others. I'm also only using egg whites this time. Usually I'm lazy and I throw the whole egg in because I use uh, food coloring but I thought I'd be uh, more true to the recipe or the instructions. And I'm also adding almond extract because I wanted some flavoring in the cake and not just make it like a plain white cake. I wanted it to be just a little bit more interesting and I love the flavor of almond. For the inside, I decided to just go with blue. I didn't think she needed any crazy different colors inside. I just wanted to kind of match uh, the color of her dress. And so I thought I'd just go with blue. I prepped four bake pans, but it turns out I only needed three, um, so I ended up just washing that fourth one. I feel like it's almost like a cookie monster blue, right? But it is really satisfying. It's a very pretty color, especially because I made sure to not add an egg yolk. It did come out a little brown. Um, I do try to sometimes overcook it um, just so it isn't too soft, especially because um, in this cake, I used pretty much all the oil it was asking for. So that would make it a very fluffy and soft cake. And that is probably the bane of doing any type of sculpture work. I then frosted the layers of the cake um, and I also did some very light sculpting. I didn't want to sculpt her out too much. It is a very small cake. This is um, six inch sponges. So I made sure to not do too much to the cake sponge itself and leave all the sculpting to like the modeling chocolate bits that I would coat it with afterwards. I also used Rice Krispie Treat for the sculpt. Anything that calls for a lot of volume and not a lot of weight, I think I'll just stick to Rice Krispie. After all, I still am a beginner, so I very much still have my training wheels on. I am now taking a boba straw and putting it down the middle of my cake. I know my cake is softer than usual. I wanna make sure that she has the stability that she needs to hold up not only the Rice Krispie Treat um, and to stay together, but also hold up all the modeling chocolate. Um, that modeling chocolate gets heavy really quick. Um, so I wanna make sure that she has a really strong base to support all that weight. This is where I get nervous because she reminds me more of that reverend from Sleepy Hollow than Yubaba, but let's carry on. So 
So I let her kind of like firm up in the fridge before I start layering on the very first layer of modeling chocolate. Doing that first layer of modeling chocolate kind of blocks out, you know, where I want her features to go, how I should be mapping this out. Um, but it's also great to kind of have a layer to secure that crumb coat and cake that I just made. Up until the point of covering the cake in that thin layer of mauling chocolate, I'm pretty much freaking out. Like I really don't feel comfortable with how it looks. Um, and it really is all about trusting the process and the process can take a very long time. Once I get her fully covered, I do start to feel a little better and I jump right into um, sculpting out her hair. I do wish um, she had bigger hair, but I just kind of ran out of material and I didn't have enough to make more of that gray. I do live a lot farther um, to Michael's, which is where I usually get all of my supplies. So I've been having to rely on my ever so sweet loving and kind husband to pick it up for me um so i didn't order enough as i should have <laughs> unfortunately but i think the effect is still there after the hair i start working on her face i knew that this was going to be like the fun part sculpting pretty and sculpting cute um although i started doing these cakes not too long ago and sculpting with anything not too long ago i realized that that is not my forte i have zero fun making cute and pretty things which is really strange because i do like you know cute stuff i have plushies all over the place but sculpting them brings me no satisfaction i'm not really sure what it is but sculpting a face like you baba's that's where my joy comes in i feel like there's just more features to work with everything's exaggerated so it's kind of like a fun little ride i don't know if that makes any sense Here was the most satisfying part, 
her giant wart in between her eyes. It's kind of like the final piece of the puzzle. And then I went in and did some painting for depth. And here she is. Let's cut her open. I don't know how to do it, like where to attack. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the Rice Krispie that's like in her head, but I do want like a big substantial piece. So I might just kind of like do that sideways cut that I usually do to take out a chunk instead of like a perfect triangle piece, if that makes any sense. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so she was incredibly difficult to cut. I think my fridge is a little too cold. Um, there is a really thick layer of modeling chocolate and I really struggled. Um, so apologies uh, for the very awkward scene that you're seeing right now. <laughs> Oh, what a mess, but here's cake. I tried to get a good clean cut, um, but you can see she is indeed still cake inside. Um, I just totally failed with getting a decent slice of cake out. I mean, this was the best I could do with um, much reconstruction behind the scenes involved. I already ate a bit for Instagram. That's good. It tastes really Almondy. I think I did two teaspoons for one cake box. Cake box, not cake boss. Um, but two teaspoons of almond extract is perfect. Um, it's almondy, and if you make the cake green, then um, it's pistachio, and no one will ever know the difference. So good. And that was my Spirited Away at Ubaba cake. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, it was actually pretty quick and I was glad because I was pretty nervous about jumping back in since it had been um, a few weeks or however many so since I had done any art um, so I think she turned out great um, I probably would have liked her to have bigger hair but you know we can't all have that volume you already saw like the countertop and the tabletop where I was working on the cake um, um, the angles are probably a little too close to see, but I just wanted to give you like a general sweeping motion look of my new place just because um, although it's messy, I am really proud of it. Um, it really feels like home and I might do like a little home tour. Um, it's definitely not luxurious and what you're probably used to seeing on YouTube, um, but it's cozy and it's just perfect for me and my husband and our little fur babies. Here is that dining nook. Um, we got this very cheap table off of Amazon, all hail corporations. And here is Jelly. Say hi. Hi. Oh, there's that um, rug from Joanne that I'm obsessed with and is um, on the seat for some reason. But yeah, everything's pretty misplaced right now. So patience, please. Here's that kitchen island. Um, it's big, it's beautiful, and no matter how many times I try to clear it off, I always just dump clutter on it. Um, and our taste of more Halloween. But yeah, Halloween is upon us. It is August. Well, when I upload this, it's probably September. Um, but this little guy was from like a Mexican grocery store for two bucks. So whatever you're paying for uh, artwork like this, it's definitely overpriced. Uh, but yeah, here's our kitchen. Here's my new workspace, I guess you'd say. This is a portable dishwasher. Um, it is awesome. It is very luxurious to have and very impractical if you have more than two human beings in your house. And um, our living room, a fireplace, I know. And then our backyard has a big patio that's filled with boxes right now. So more Halloween. I just really love it. Making a cake in a new space was also really fun, so hopefully I'm able to start pumping these out again because you know how fast I am at uploading videos, right? Um, but anyways, I might show you more of the house later uh, when everything's a bit more set up. 
We have lots of things to still put up and organize and clear out, um, but hopefully you'll be interested in looking at that. I know I always am, um, but I will catch you guys in the next video. I have another anime kick in mind, so if that excites you at all, um, stick around, subscribe, like, and ring that bell, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.